Hi there folks, just wanted to um, upload a quick video on the um, operation of a simple three coil DC motor <coughs> and um, we'll spend a bit of detail into um, how a commutator operates or what a commutator is and uh, what its job is in this particular um, three coil uh, DC motor arrangement. Um, a commutator can look like this, one of these here. Um, or something like that. Um, it's connected to the armature of the motor and um, basically a commutator's job is to transfer the current from the battery or the current source via the brushes. These well, don't look anything like brushes in a real motor but I've just, I've just put them there for, um, for the illustrative purposes. Um, so they transfer the current from the battery or the current source via the brushes to these coils and to change the current flow direction at exactly the right moment in all three coils so that the induced magnetic poles at the ends of each of the coils will at any given moment cause a rotation in a particular direction. So that commutator just can um, it's like the brain of the motor. In other words, it, um, the current goes in as the motor turns. Um, um, it'll, uh, as the motor turns, it will cause the uh, commutator's position relative to the brushes to change, and that change in position and that change in contact will um, um, will dictate the change in the current within the coils, which will, in turn, change the uh, polarity at the ends of these uh, coils or solenoids as they actually are. <coughs> we'll, um, we'll just start the motor off in, um, let's see, let's fix one of my brushes up, in that particular arrangement. Now this particular arrangement here, you might or might not be able to, to understand this from this um, uh, little illustration here I've got here, this working illustration I've got here, but these coils, are just as a side note, uh, in, a, um, in this arrangement in a three coil DC motor, the coils here are all the same, used with the same wire, the same number of windings, and therefore they'll have the same resistance in each of them. Um, but if you notice here, so you can, you can just imagine these, these coils as resistors if you will, for this, for this uh, particular illustration I'm about to give. And that circuit of resistors might look something like this here. Um, now you can see <coughs> um, you've got the current, current uh, running through here, current, current coming from, uh, from there, flowing through um, these coils here. And in, that, in this arrangement here, um, you can see that um, the coils behave um, like resistors and um, the current running through each uh, bank of this parallel circuit uh, will be different. <coughs> so back to our diagram here, we have in this instance currents, current is flowing through this brush here and into this plate of the commutator um, and it's going firstly through that coil that way it's going uh, clockwise up that coil using our right hand grip rule we'll know that that will induce a north pole at there and this in this arrangement right now in this particular stage of the rotation uh, you'll, there'll, there'll be a north pole here um, my brush is blocking this next one but you'll see that uh, the current flowing through that there will go up through that part of the coil, it's running like that around the uh, coil, so using our right hand grip rule again know that north, there's a north pole on that side of the um, of the uh, coil and therefore there will be a south side on this end. Now for that one there we have um, 
that current that had already flowed through this coil is also coming back round. That plate of the commutator simply joins these two wires together. So the current's continuing flowing around that way. And it's going around here and it's going round back down. Using a right hand grip rule again. There's a north pole at that end, therefore a south pole at that end. Now as you can see right now, now we've written, now we've written the, uh, the poles in. North here, south here, south here. South here reacts with this south, pushing it away, or inducing a push away. South here is attracted to this north, and north here, as this one turns as well, is repelled away from this north end and attracted to this south end. So all three of those all, all help in the rotation. As it moves through its next, to its next stage of rotation, as I'll call it, um, this is quite important here. This brush here actually shorts out this coil. So in this particular stage of rotation, where that, where that, uh, that coil there is um, it's perfectly horizontal, the split in the commutator, um, this brush actually shorts out this whole coil, so there's no current running through this coil at this stage because, as you can see, there's no other end of the, of the brush attached to either of these coils, so all that happens now is that this current goes um, on that commutator plate through over here and round this one, still a north, still a north pole induced, and around here this one, around that way still a south pole induced there, you can see S written down there. Okay, and it continues its rotation, north is attracted to south still, south is repelled away from S, from, uh, from this south here, and uh, attracted also to north. So as soon as it comes to about here, it's, that brush has stopped making contact with both of the parts of the commutator at the, at the same time and is now effectively in that position. Now as you can see here in this rotation now, in this rotation stage, current flows up um, here, flows down through here, and through that coil like that, using our grip rule again. North pole there, south pole there. Nothing's changed here, it's still the south pole. Still being pushed away from this, right there's the little repulsion from uh, this magnet and attraction to this magnet on that coil. Now current, um, as you can see here when the brush is touching there, current flows up through that coil and it goes along that like that. But using our grip rule now, we will now have a north pole on this one. And you can and by principle of operation you can tell that okay this that coils here now there's a north pole here we want we can see the motors turning in this direction what pole does it have to be to keep it in in, in rotation okay it's got to be a north pole it's got to rotate it around likewise with this one what poles it has what pole does it have to be to be attracting to this point here oh, it's got to be a north still all right well let's see if that's true up here, current flows back down, current comes in this coil, goes like that, right hand grip rule, oh yep, it's the north. That's basically how it works. And that continues, continues going, continues going round and round like that. Each stage of rotation, the uh, commutator changes the current in these coils so that the correct pole is um, induced at the end of the coils so that it will react with these permanent magnets and cause the induced rotation. That's basically how the uh, simple three coil DC motor works. <coughs> um, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, please rate it, leave some comments, any uh, thoughts and questions, be happy to answer. Thanks.